There's been a fair bit of discussion in the last few weeks about the change in fuel in Formula One for the 2022 season. So we here at GP Fans thought we'd give you a quick rundown in this special about exactly what switching from E5 to E10 means and why it matters going into the new year. Remember, you can hit the subscribe button down below and stay up to date with all of our specials as we explain all the changes taking place going into this new F1 season. But now, let's talk about the fuss about E10 fuel. Formula One is making the switch from E5 fuel to E10 this year because it's better for the environment. But at the same time, it is a challenge for the teams because the power sources have to be adapted to this new fuel. And that's why there is a fear that there will be a loss of power for various teams. The introduction of E10 fuel is only the first step. For example, at the time of the new engine regulations in 2026, fully biological fuels may well be used. From 2030, Formula One even wants to be completely carbon neutral. However, the move to E10 poses a real challenge for the team as the current powertrains have been developed for E5 fuel since the introduction of the hybrid era back in 2014. E10 fuel will have to contain 10% bioethanol. Bioethanol is an alcohol that is made up from crops such as sugarcane, wheat and rapeseed. When burning bioethanol, only water vapor and a small amount of non-harmful carbon dioxide is released. Its use, therefore, is less harmful to the environment. With the E5 fuel, it was mandatory to use 5.75% bio components. In addition, the teams, or rather the suppliers of the fuel, were allowed to choose which components they used for this. Switching from 5.75 to 10% ethanol may seem like just a small step, but according to Mercedes CEO Thomas Huell, a number of fundamental changes must be made. Moving to E10 fuel is probably the biggest legislative change we've had since 2014, said Huell. It was quite an undertaking to develop the fuel. One should not underestimate how much work that was. Due to the new fuel, the power source, especially the combustion engine, will react differently to this than before. It doesn't compare well to road cars, but to put it in perspective, not all cars, especially the older ones before 2000, are suitable for E10 fuel. The higher concentration of ethanol can cause damage to pipes and gaskets over time, so the Formula 1 teams have to make adjustments to both the fuel and the combustion engine to ensure that everything continues to work properly. All the teams are expecting a loss of power on the switch from E5 to E10, so the engines have to be adapted and they need to find that power once more to ensure that they can maintain competitive speeds with the rest of the pack at the start of the new season. And adapting to that is tricky, particularly when you're also trying to adapt to the new aerodynamic regulations in Formula 1. But who is going to have the fastest fuel on the grid at the start of the 2022 season? Let us know in the comments section below. And that's everything that you need to know, of course, about E10 fuel coming into Formula One this year. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below for all of our specials and, of course, the latest and breaking news in Formula One. And get on to gpfans.com while you're at it as well to stay up to date with all of our content on the website.